Okay, so we went ahead and uh, put this in the on the stove with some uh, water for a little bit to boil it. And um, we boiled it till it was kind of al dente, so it's not like too squishy, but it's not like really hard or anything. What is it? Um, this is the cauliflower. Oh, okay. Chopped up. Mm -hmm. And okay. so, yeah, we took the cauliflower and just boiled it. And then um, now we have the cream cheese. We're going to add this in there. We're also going to add sour cream, green onion, and then this bowl has the spam in there. And that's cut up in... Yeah, cooked, it's cooked with the up. coconut oil. Right. Or sprayed with the coconut spray. You gonna add anything to that or that's it? Oh, should I add something? Else? Oh no, I didn't know. I was just asking. Right. That's uh, it? Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna put the cream cheese in here. And we're doing uh, two things of it, so we're just gonna put uh, half. This is half of the cream cheese that we got. Okay, so we put the cream cheese in here, and you can put however much you like. Some people might not like it too creamy, um, but it's going to be really good. We're just going to mix the cream cheese in. Um, we're also putting some sour cream. In the sour cream, you don't have to put as much of the sour cream as the cream cheese. So if you're making a big thing of it, you just could put like a couple tablespoons just so it's not too like liquidy because we want it to be kind of like thick. Right. So we're just going to mix it together a little bit. And, um, yeah, so you can see it's, like, pretty much going together. And you can add some more if you want. You can add more cream cheese or sour cream, whatever you want. If you like it more, like, how do I say it? Like, kind of uh, more juicy or whatever, like, liquidy, then you, <laughs> you can put more sour cream. But I like it to be kind of thick. So we're just going to mix that. And then we're going to add some other stuff. We won't mix it. Mix that a little bit. And then we're going to add some of the green onions. And then this we got. Ooh. Usually we get the uh, cut up ones. I mean the ones that aren't cut up yet. But they were the same exact price as this. So mm -hmm. I might as well get these. Right. And then some a good price for the green onions. I saw like at Winco, they were pretty cheap. And then again, you can put however much you want. We don't really have a certain measurement. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just mix that up. And yeah, make sure you get down like toward the bottom because you don't want it to be all throughout the whole thing. Then, once that's mixed in, you just mix it in really good. And once that's done, you can put the spam. And we'll just put some of that in there again, just how much you want. This is, I think, one. This is like a can and a half of the spam. And then we have some more cooking still. So I'll put just some in there. And then mix that all together. And then this is just the mixed part. Um, we're also going to put it in the oven after. So this is like the second step, but we still have one more step after this. It has to still go in the oven. Mm -hmm. And if you want, sometimes we put a little bit of the shredded cheese in there. So it's pretty good. You can have it nice and cheesy in the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So I'll put some of that in there. Delicious. However much you want. And then just mix it in there nice and good. And the cheese we got, we got Colby and Colby and Monterey Jack. But you can use any kind of cheese that you like. All right. Okay, so now it's all mixed up. We're probably gonna um now that it's all mixed up, we're gonna take this and we're gonna move it into the pan so we can put it in the oven. Okay, so I forgot we were gonna add a little bit of the Parmesan. Okay, I forgot we were going to add a little bit of the Parmesan cheese in there. Um, just to give it a little bit more. Oop, in case it wasn't cheesy enough for you. I thought that was the other side open. <laughs> this is probably the side you want to use with the holes on it. I didn't know it was open that side. You might be able to mix them both. <laughs> yeah. Together. What do you yeah. think? 
Oh no, that's not. That's a lot. Isn't that a lot? It's okay. It's um a lot of the cauliflower in here. Oh okay, because it, it's salty, you know. Right. Yeah, I'll probably put some more from the other one in here because I didn't realize it was open like that. So let's mix it pretty good. And then, now we're gonna put it in our pan here. All right, so now we have our two um, uh, thing of the cauliflower and we just mix them together because of that Parmesan fiasco. So we're gonna take <laughs> one of them for now and we're gonna uh, put it in this uh, pan. And this one, I think we mentioned before, but we got it from Aldi's. It was only 99 cents. So we'll just put this in here. And then we're gonna top it with the, oh no. We're gonna top it with the cheese and usually we put a little spam on top but I think I forgot to save some to the side. But it's okay. We will um, usually put the Parmesan, I mean the spam on top of it so that it or could look. bacon. Or yeah, or bacon, whichever one you guys wanna mm -hmm. use. I'll just put that in there. And you can use chicken in there instead of spam. Yeah, that would probably be really good. So I'm going to put this in here. It's not to spill. And it holds a lot. It makes a lot of it. Because you can see we still have a whole nother... A uh, pan or a whole nother uh, pot of it and then we haven't even finished this pot and it's pretty much full already So the big cauliflower really does help if you get that one because that one makes it makes a lot mm -hmm. It's enough for a few quite a few meals. Uh-huh But well, there's a lot of us so it's like um, It goes pretty quick, <laughs> right? After some days. All right. So. That. And that's a whole meal. It's a casserole. Yeah. It has the green onion, the spam, or if you want to put bacon or chicken, um, the cream cheese and everything. And it's really good. It's really good when it all comes together. Okay. So I'll put a little bit more. And what do you I do after that's this? that's good for the first mm -hmm. one. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and put some cheese on top. Oh, okay. And just to sprinkle it on there. And we did put some in there so you can put however much you want. You don't have to put too much, but you just put it on throughout it so that it'll bake. When it bakes, it'll all be nice and cheesy. It's like macaroni. Yeah, it's kind of is like that, actually. Like <laughs> macaroni without the noodles or anything mm -hmm. all right and this wasn't the whole bag of cheese that was just <laughs> like half of it right okay so then um this is how it ends up looking like this and then we're gonna put it in the oven it doesn't take long probably like 15 minutes okay and then we'll take it out okay so it's all done now and it looks pretty good um you can see everything nice and the cheese is melted and everything's combined it does look a little better if you have like something on top like you could put some green onions on top or some mm. spam or the bacon or that anything looks good. a little bit on top but it looks really good and this is the final product mm -hmm. and it's really nice. Ooh, that looks tasty it is it's really really good and that's a keto friendly or keto yeah keto meal um okay. it does have a few carbs like i think there's some carbs in the is it carbs and sour cream there's some carbs in the spam there's mm -hmm. two carbs in the spam um the sour, sour cream is okay to have carb. Mm -hmm. yeah it's okay to have that and that. cauliflower i don't think has any carbs so it's only a few carbs um so it's keto it's really good and i think yeah, you'd like this recipe um what does it look like inside? Oh, yeah, let's cut up. You want to cut it or you want to wait till you guys get back? Oh, no, we can cut it. Just for the audience. Just for the audience. We know you're out there. You're dying to see it. Let me see. Oh, gosh, they're talking about the Slender Man. I'm eating those um, 
sugar-free candies. Oh. And believe it or not. All right. Pull a little piece out. If you want, I let it sit in the oven for like a couple minutes when it was mm -hmm. done, just so that the cheese wouldn't be like too, too melty and like falling apart or anything. Oh my. So you can looks, just get a piece like that. That does look good. That's really and we've had good. it tons of times, so we know it's very delicious. Yeah. <laughs> we had it tons of times. Thank it's you, really Gina. Good. It looks better every time. She's the, <laughs> she's the chef of this one. <laughs> You're welcome. You see the cheese on there. Looks really good, and um, it's a really good meal. It's really, if you like the cream cheese and sour cream, it's really good. And we're having that tonight. It's almost like macaroni, so you can pretend like it's macaroni. Right. <laughs> if you like macaroni. But this tastes just as good, if not better, to me. Right. Without all those carbs. It does, yeah. I think it tastes a lot um, better, actually. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's the um, meal. And then if you guys like the recipe, give us a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. And hopefully you get to try it at home. Maybe you can give it a try. Um, we had all the ingredients in the video. So um, if you want to try it, then go ahead. It's really good. Thank you.